Okay, it's only one. It's a combination. It's a combination. Why is a combination? It's a combination because we have no category. We have just member. Thirteen members taking a five. <clears throat> the formula, let's do it by formula one time, at least one time. A 13 factorial divided by 5 factorial a subtraction 13 minus 5 factorial. Okay, uh, this is 5 factorial, this is a factorial, and you expand this. 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times a factorial. And you can solve a factorial and a factorial. Uh, one more. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. <coughs> and you cancel, for example, No, I'm going to say you put it directly in the calculator. Huh? You put it in the calculator. Let me see. You put. Uh, okay, it's parenthesis 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9. Divided by. Divided by parenthesis. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 get nothing because it's close the parenthesis. And the answer is yes, the answer is <coughs> uh, 1287 gets the option D. Okay, but much better using directly the calculator to compute the per combination. Combination is as always. You put 13 combination, 13 element, mathematic, PRB, option 3, get combination, add 5, take out 5. We get the same answer. Okay. Okay, the 22 the student is told to work any 6 out of 10 question on an exam. In how many different ways can he complete the exam? Okay, to say the correctness in this answer has no bearing. Okay, to say in other words, it's not important the order. Now it's typical combination. Combination what? Combination 10 question 10 x 6. Uh -huh. Now calculator? Of course calculator. Calculator is 10 mathematic PRB option 3 6. Uh -huh. The answer is 210 can correspond with the option B. Okay, 23. Yes, we start probability part. A bag contains seven red marble, two blue marble, and three green marble. What is the probability that the randomly selected marble is blue? Uh, how many marble we have in total? In total, we have seven red, two blue, three green, and total we have twelve. This is a sample space. This is the cardinality of the sample space. It's twelve. The cardinality number twelve. And blue. How many blue we have? Well, we have only two. Uh, reduce the lowest term is one over six. Que corresponde with the option B. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, what is the odd in favor and the spinning? This is spinning. Uh -huh. How many A we have? How many A? How many A? We have one, two, and three A, no? 3a. So now the odd in favor is the cardinality when the event a gets 
a to get a which is 3 in this case over how many no a we have well we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 is no a then the odd a favor is 3 over 5 que corresponde with the option Okay, 25 is two fair six side dice are rolled. What is the probability that the sum of the two number on the dice is four? Okay, again, I, I, I want to do the product table to see the possibility. Okay. Okay, again, this is the product table for the two rolled dice. Uh -huh, now I want to investigate what the number, the summation is four. One of the summation is four here. One and three is four, two and two is four, and one and three and one is four. Like that. Possibility. Basically, we have three possibilities. Okay, now probability this event is, is three, okay, is the number of combination we, we have in divided by the complete sample space which is 36 and when you reduce the lowest term it's one half no one half no one over 12 hello okay the auction b mm -hmm. okay we need to find the probability no blue no blue is equal one minus probability blue and probability blue is equal blue is 2 over 8 is the sample space is 1 over 4 so basically it's 1 minus 1 over 4 gets to be 4 okay, corresponding with the option B okay <clears throat> number 27 is two distinct even numbers are selected at random from the first 10 first 10 even numbers greater than zero what is the probability that the sum is 30. The, our <coughs> sample space is the first 10 even numbers so two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20. The cardinality is 10, so now the sample space, this is the sample space. All right, now, what is the couple? Okay, the summation is 30. Well, one combination is 10 and 20. 10 plus 20 is 30. Another combination is 12 and 18. Uh, 14 and 16 <clears throat> they are no more combination now my specific event the so cardinality for the specific event is 3 now the probability is probability is 3 over 10 okay, corresponding with the option C ok the grey stone bag will give 10 performance this season. Four of these will be only sung from the seven. If Tony get to pick two tickets at random, what is the probability that he will get both seven tickets? Okay, let me organize the problem. We have 10 performers in total, 10. And four is only the song of the and we have two tickets. So what are the in this case we have two events and they are the de they are depending event no independent they are depending because when you pick the first ticket ticket number one the probability to get one ticket of the 70 song is four over ten and the probability to get the other is 
is in this case here, I suppose that I pick one of the seven. Now we have three, and of course the new sample space is not is not ten, it's nine. But the probability to get the second is three over nine. And when you multiply this probability, you get the probability of the two event. Okay, we can simplify a little bit. We can simplify divided by three is one, divided by three is three, divided by two is two, divided by two is five. Does a two times one is two over fifteen? And this is the answer. The answer is two over fifteen. Okay, see.